I'd like to say um, it's really important, I think, as the city grows, is that we have all transport modes working together. And Mike mentioned this before, and it's something that I've been very passionate about. It's not about road, and it's not about rail, it's actually about all of them. And frankly, we won't have the choice in the years ahead to just be picking one over the other. We're going to need them all to be working together. So we're putting a lot of work into improving the road network, and we're doing a lot of work to improve rail. And modern and efficient passenger transport will be vital to ensure that as this city grows, and we're predicting, I think, about 2 million people in another 20 years, that, the, that its economy grows even faster. Getting this right will mean benefits for all of the city and all of the country, as the success of our country is tied closely to the success of Auckland. Today's opening symbolises strong partnership between the government and the region. The government is investing $1.6 billion dollars in Auckland Rail Infrastructure Development currently. This includes $600 million for the DART project, which includes Honeyhanger, and that funded the rebuilding of this line. The Regional Council and the New Zealand Transport Agency co-funded the development of the three stations along this line. And of course, the Crown is also funding the purchase of new electric trains that should be running on this line, as I say, by 2013-14. But in addition to investment, wider reforms to Auckland governance that some of you may have heard of take effect from the 1st of November. And that will provide a strong focus for decision making right across the transport sector. The new Auckland Transport will effectively take what ARDA has done and widen it to manage and develop a whole transport network of cross modes that supports Auckland's growth and economic success. Auckland Transport will be responsible for managing the local roads as well as public transport, putting it in an excellent position to deliver transport for Auckland's needs. Before I finish, I would observe, of course, that infrastructure doesn't come without a price tag, and it does compete for limited taxpayer and ratepayer dollars. We will all need to invest carefully to ensure that every dollar is well spent in the years ahead. I'm confident the new governance arrangements will put Auckland in an excellent position to do this. So I say today to you that I'm fully committed to the city's transport system. As both an Auckland resident and the Minister of Transport, I'm very well aware of the importance of reliable transport links in the city and very, very pleased to be here today. 